Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's your boy Big John. The at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is all the relevant information I'll be speaking about in this video. And today what I'm going to be doing is talking to you about a set and forget account. Now I have recently released a video based on hypergrowth and we have had our ups and downs with that account. But of course I'm still doing that service because I believe in what I'm able to achieve. And I know people will be able to grow a small account to a big account. It's just going to take a little bit of time now what this service is about is it's pretty much similar to that but we are going to be using an account with a bit more of an initial starting capital so this account is going to be called a set and forget account and that is something that has been coined by somebody called alex on youtube i do suggest you watch some of his videos he's been doing some crazy big account flips and making mad profits on trades so with all of that being said guys and girls let's just get straight into the video Starting from the bottom like Drake Got that John Mueller but I learned my mistakes Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes If you wanna be the boss, then you have to sell a game so right now you can see I'm on the same compound growth chart, which I did show in my previous video, but the numbers are going to be a bit different on this setup. What we will be doing is starting an account with 300 GBP. I will go into conversions after. And what we are aiming to do here is to grow the account by 25%. Again, I will show you that as well. But let's not just pay attention to the growth straight away because in the end of the day, we lose a lot of trades when it comes to trading rather than just winning every single trade. Let's pay attention to the loss. So on this account, I'm only going to be losing 3% per trade. So if I've got 300 pounds on this account, I will be losing in my first trade nine pounds if I do actually lose that trade. Now, of course, that will put my balance down to 291. And you can see this is what starts to happen. So the next trade I enter, if I am going to lose the second trade as well, I will only be losing 8.73. I will not be trading at the same value of 300 GBP because the account is obviously less. Now, of course, this is the part where we are looking to see what we're actually trying to make. And I am going to be growing the account at 25%. I will be aiming to try and make one of these levels per week, as you can see here. But of course, we can fall short of this if the market does not give us the trade setup that I would need according to my strategy. Sometimes we might even break even or even be in a loss. The whole aim of this account and the reason it's called a set and forget is because we're looking to trade this account through the course of a year. Now, there are 52 weeks in a year and this is the end balance on 52 weeks. Of course, this is if I manage to get it all the way up to here at the end of every single week being absolutely positive, which is not going to be the case. And we are completely aware of that. So we know that is what we can get up to. Now, remember, anything above the starting balance is absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to give you another bit of information here that will help you out. Let's just cover the conversion rate for people. So people are going to ask me all the time, what is the conversion rate for 300 GBP into USD? So if you go to Google, you can just type in GBP to USD or whatever your currency is, and you will be able to find a conversion rate on what that payment actually is for that price. If I am telling you to bring 300 GBP into your account, then you can see straight away that that would be $357. If I am asking you to make a monthly payment of 50 GBP, that converts into $59. $9. So you can always just round up these figures to make it a bit easier for yourself. Now, what I'm explaining here is the fact of the investment. A lot of people, what they're doing is they'll use the smallest amount of money to try and make the biggest amount of money. And this is what destroys your possibilities of having long-term success. And I've realized this so much, even though there is a monthly fee on this account, do not look at the account as I must make that monthly fee every single month without a fail, because this is what sets a certain expectation and a failure on your account. You need to look at the investment as a whole. So remember, I'm telling you, we're trading for a period of 12 months overall. So even if you are trying to put money towards this service, you have to understand that 600 GBP is the maximum amount you would pay for a subscription on that account. Now, of course, I'm not going to be losing every single month. What will happen is I'll be positive and negative throughout certain periods on this account going up to the 12 month period overall. You do not have to pay this payment up front. I'm just letting you know that altogether, this is the amount the subscription will cost you for the year. Some people might ask for a discount on this subscription, but you have to understand that the price has to be set at that value due to the fact of the charges on social trader and also of course the charges for me to be able to trade your account 
Now, when we go over to social trader, this is why this is better for people. So when I'm doing the hyper growth accounts, what the problem is, is that I can copy from my account to your account, but what I cannot do is risk multiplier by balance. I have to go to fixed lot size. So therefore I can only trade each account on whatever my starting balance is and make sure I'm always monitoring how I'm growing these accounts. And that causes a bit of an issue because you always have to follow the amount of my starting balance and I have to trade everybody's account like that. Some people wanted to put more money in their account to grow faster, but I couldn't do that because again, I had to use fixed lot sizes. In the second week of the circulation when I was profitable, everybody was only profitable by a small amount rather Rather than being in profit by a growth amount, which would have been a lot better for people that had more capital in their account. With this service, what I can actually do now is I can go by risk multiplier. And this means that you can start your account on 300 GBP, or you can start your account on 1,000, 5,000, whatever you like. And whatever will happen is I will always be risking 3% on the account, but the multiplier of the profit, you know, if the trade hits TP will be 25%. So remember, you're only ever gonna lose 3% of your account per trade. So you're fully aware. If you see a negative on the account, it shouldn't be no more or just a little bit over that 3%. It should pretty much be 3% only. So guys and girls, I hope this does make a lot of sense. And anybody that does want to join this service, again, it's 50 Great British Pounds a month. And what I'm trying to explain here is that when you do start with 300 GBP or more, even in the space of a month, it makes it a lot easier for me to try and hit the minimum target because we can see here that as long as I hit this first level, even through the course of the month, this will cover the fee of the subscription. And this makes it a bit easier for me. When we started with the hyper growth, we was below. So I always had to make the money plus more. And this just makes it a little bit better and gives me a bit more freedom when it comes to trading wins and losses. So I hope everything makes sense there. It's your boy, Big John, and I'm out. Peace. Starting from the bottom like Drake. Got that young ruler, but I learned my mistakes. Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes. If you wanna be the boss, then you have to delegate.